Sorry, guys. I thought y'all might have one today, but the trolls, the haters, and the elementary dipshits are going to have to wait at least another seven days. Georgia wins again. Their 26th win in a row. 41 of the last 42. Just unbelievable. Uh, what is it the kids say? They can't all be bangers. Georgia's won 26 in a row, and yeah, they're not all blowouts. But guess what? Winning is better than losing. <laughs> oh, poor Oklahoma. <coughs> Had you all the way up here at number seven. Had you all, where are you? There you are. Had you all the way up here at number seven. And you dribbled down your own leg to your little brother. To Oklahoma State. Man, you lost the Bedlam game. In the last year that we get to see the Bedlam game because y'all's feelings are hurt. You're leaving uh, the Big 12 for the SEC. Oklahoma State's mad about it. Y'all aren't going to play anymore. So they came out here in the last year that you're in the Big 12. They beat you. They knocked you out of Big 12 title contention. They knocked you out of playoff contention. They knocked you out of anything meaningful or relevant. How's that make you feel? Wagon man? Boy, is anybody ever going to beat Georgia? Missouri gave it everything they had today. I'm proud of Missouri. Uh, per usual, if I could, I'd reach right through this phone and pat all you Missouri people right on the head and tell you how proud Uncle Lou is of you for what you did today. You tried as hard as you could. Uh, hell, you even ran the ball on Georgia. And that's not easy to do, win or lose. Uh, but you somehow uh, managed a way to do it, especially in the second half. You ran the ball okay in the first half, too, but that was mostly Brady Cook, your quarterback, in the first half got loose on a couple of scrambles. So he had like 40-something yards rushing or whatever it was in the first half. But that Schrader you got, that running back there, uh, he got loose in the second half. He ended up with over 100 yards rushing against Georgia. And you can count on one hand the number of running backs that have gone over 100 yards against Georgia since Kirby Smart took the job there. So good on him. I'm not going to trash Missouri. Missouri's a good team. The haters and the trolls are going to be in the comments section telling you that you're not any good and uh, that Georgia only beat some terrible team by nine points. The reality is Georgia beat the 12th ranked team in the country. Uh, that's all that matters. Beat them by nine. Like I said, could be worse. Could be worse. Could be Oklahoma. Could be Notre Dame, who lost to the worst Clemson team that a lot of you have ever seen, because you I'm assuming a lot of you are eight years old based on the comments you leave. But anyway, uh, Notre Dame loses to a terrible uh, uh, Clemson team. So, you know, <laughs> I, I'd rather be undefeated uh, and, and beat the number 12 team in the country by nine than lose to Clemson. I'd rather be undefeated and beat the number 12 team in the country by nine uh, than be Oklahoma and lose to your little brother, Oklahoma State. Hell, I'd rather be undefeated and beat the 12th ranked team in the country by nine to, 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 to be this sloppy ass fucking Florida State dog shit out here that has struggled for the entire game against something called Pitt. And you're finally starting to do something in the fourth quarter up 24 to seven. Miracle over Pitt, one of the worst teams in the country. Uh, congratulations. Uh, who else? Uh, I'd, rather be, I'd rather be undefeated, nine and oh. Nine and oh? Ole Miss, Tennessee. Yeah, 9-0. I'd rather be undefeated, 9-0, have 126 games straight and beat number 12 team by nine uh, than to be Michigan, knowing that a year, two years down the road, whatever it is, every win I've had over the last two years is going to be vacated. I'd rather be that. I'd rather be Georgia right now with a win over the number 12 team by nine than be Ohio State, who somehow is ranked number one in the country with an upside-down helmet. Ohio State man told me to turn that upside down. Not me, so don't get mad at me. Y'all's offense doesn't even exist. Forget a bad offense. How do you have 19 NFL wide receivers and no offense? I don't know. I'll, I'll never understand it. Uh, but you don't. But congratulations for beating Rutgers, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Washington comes on tonight. They play Southern Cal. We'll see what they do. They've looked like crap two weeks in a row. But Georgia only beat the number 12 team by nine. Okay, well, we'll see what Washington does. Michigan, like I said, no one cares about them. They're cheaters. 
Uh, Oregon struggling right now against Cal. They're up 14 to 10 against a terrible Cal team. Oh no. Oklahoma, you lost. Texas, you did find a way to win today against Kansas State. Barely, I mean barely, against Kansas State. Same Kansas State team that Missouri beat, by the way. Uh, Alabama comes on at 7.30. What are they, they going to do with their pacifiers tonight? I don't know. We'll see. Penn State, uh, no, well, uh, Penn State doesn't matter. We already know they're finishing third in the Big Ten East like they always do. There you go. There's your update. I'm going to be live streaming tonight at 7.30 for the primetime games, which include Alabama and LSU. Should be a great game. Who do y'all got in that one? The Corn Dogs or the Gumps? Alabama's a three-point favorite at home over LSU. Game comes on at 7.30. I'll be live on YouTube. Come hang out. Uh, you can attempt to troll me about Georgia beating the number 12 team in the country by nine. Good luck with that one, though. Boy, I, look, look. I, I, I keep telling you this because it's true. Eventually, Georgia's going to lose a game, all right? Now, I, I promise you, I promise you, I will be here when Georgia loses. I just hope you have the patience to stick around because it might take a while.